We're on a mission on a to mission. rid the world of bad video. Bye bye. This is the DV Show. Target in range. Bad video sucks. Sora, Sora, Sora. I am so certain that you've already heard of Sora and that great marketing machine that has it going on every single outlet throughout the world. Welcome to this edition of the DV Show. My name is Brian, and today we are venturing into a fascinating development from the corridors of OpenAI. Now, they've just teased something that could redefine our understanding of video production. It's called Sora. And folks, it's nothing short of revolutionary. Now, take a look at some of these cool samples. I mean, these are really cool. And they're not scenes from the latest blockbuster film. They're simple examples of what Sora can create from mere text prompts. Now, the press is ablaze with comparisons to the frenzy that greeted DALI and ChatGPT. Remember that? They're using words like eye-popping, world-changing, and even breathtaking and terrifying. They're all being thrown around in the media and in your face. And everyone is going to lose their job. The video production industry is ending. Run for your lives! <laughs> And from the sneak peeks we've been seeing, the hype is warranted. But here's the catch. Sora is still shrouded in mystery. What's the deal? How the hell does this thing work? Only a select few have had their hands on it, including OpenAI's CEO Sam Altman, who's been showcasing snippets in response to prompts on social media. And it's really tempting to imagine Sora as the next leap in creativity a tool for unleashing cinematic dreams or nightmares. And considering its potential for misinformation, yet for now, it's a tantalizing glimpse into what could be really a mix of provocation and promise. Now, the intrigue doesn't stop at dazzling demos. There's a lot of money going into the marketing machine. Believe me, I have a background in marketing. And keep in mind, Sora's release is just a release. It's a release notice. It's just a simple product launch at this point. The marketing tactic is being imposed upon those who are not aware of how this marketing machine works, which is why most of Sora is shrouded in mystery. Right now, when you launch a product like this and you shroud it in mystery, you're basically looking for feedback. It's a false launch. It's aimed to navigate the immense potential and pitfalls AI holds. They want to know about the training data, the potential harms, the biases, and these are all going on the table. They listen to gather that data before the real launch happens. Now, I get it. Again, I've been involved in marketing for many, many years. But the real answers on how simple Sora works, that question remains as elusive as ever. Sora's demos, while impressive, hint at limitations. Basic details like bite marks on a cookie, sharks with one tooth, mysterious toes appearing under chairs, and actresses turning their heads more than the exorcist ever did. Now, these are all challenges. And to me, it's not ready yet. Again, I'm deeply involved in the video production world and watching the responses from the community on many platforms. And I love this one comment that sums up all the hype. What the f with all of these posts? How bad of a video production pro do you have to be to worry about this sh I wonder when calculators came out if mathematicians worried about safety. This makes sense, right? I preach all the time on my podcast. It's not about the tools. Storytelling and creativity comes from humans, not from computers. And Sora is no different. It's a freaking tool. Now I'm going to wrap up here with this rant, hopefully making it clear that Sora's unveiling is a 
mysterious product announcement. It's meant to be. It's marketing. It's a moment of myth-making in the AI world. It's a blend of promise and provocation that has us all watching closely. But for us in the video production world, don't run just yet. And try not to give into the hype and fall into the world of doom and gloom like your job is going to end. Keep an eye on it, sure. But in my opinion, it's not ready yet. Well, that does it for this edition of the DB Show podcast. And keep in mind, this podcast is powered by you. Interact and engage with us by sending in your comments and questions for next week's show. Simply visit us at thedbshow.com for more details. See you then. Video production just got easier. The DB Show.